And wasn't I going to get another vehicle? Prefer shotguns and reckless. Oh dear. Is there metal? Alright. But, like, people die and you don't really care. Let's see, Cherokee, Lumpy, Thunder, Lane, Sanders, and Governing, the Camera, Munition, Shelter, and Survivors. Government Research Group, Memorial Hospital. Let's see, do we want to go to a hospital during a zombie outbreak? Oh, gee. You know what, we'll just do this. Stop occasionally supplies. And we got this Mia person. And then, yep. Yeah, they're there, alright. No brother who is not actually, uh... Actually here, and who has, I guess, established themselves as being... Maybe not the most stable of individuals. Roadhead, abandoned vehicles. These are the decisions that make or break us. Uh, alternate route. That's still the same amount of fuel that we would have spent normally. And we just automatically ran out of fuel. No, we had enough fuel to keep going. I made sure... Uh. Acting like I don't know anything about budgeting. I guess it was because of the detour, but... I should practice at that because I'm thinking to myself, like, if I got good enough, I could probably just get like a whole horde just grabbing me and just finish them off one after the other real quick. Is there anything else of interest, though? Oh. 
There we go. And now you. There we go. And I don't know where you came from, but sure. I guess that's the whole deal with zombies, that individually they're not much of a threat. Like in a horde, they are. But at the same time... Like, I guess like the whole thing about like death penalty is just like a real slap on the wrist. And... It, see, look, I'm, I'm gonna res- I'm gonna- I, I still have the fuel, I'm gonna just respawn, you know, right away. You know... Or maybe not. Search for area if you. So, or we just do this. Cool. Like I, I'll like it's like the whole thing. It's like I'll play like an idiot. This game doesn't deserve my respect. And now what's that? Oh, that's actually- oh, so there is in fact- so that was in fact the game over screen. How about that? But it just boots you back to this area where you're traveling there. So obviously, you know, stopping for supplies was the wrong idea. So we'll just go to the highways. So this has been a learning experience. So yeah, it does ha so like, you know, I have-, have yeah, see, we are. Tire blew out. Get a new tire. And we guess we actually it's arguably better because we can then just keep all the uh, stuff we got. And it's the same map. Which means all the items are going to be in the same places. Three, four, uh, nothing more. I think we're actually better off this time than it was previously. But yes, we learned something new here, new and interesting, where it's like, apparently, like, like it points that if you do have enough fuel to get from point A to point B, it'll just be like, haha, you didn't have actually, you didn't really have enough, start over, like, you know, continue right from the back again. Which I guess is like, which I guess is like the whole thing about, 
which I was while I was talking about like the whole thing like like permadeath, but, but and then I kind of realized that having it in this kind of game would be a bad idea, considering that like it does random stuff, but it's not like the ra kind of random chance that you can sort of account for. It's not like the kind of thing where most like roguelikes you can be like, oh, I need this, this, and this if I want to proceed, and I can get it this way, this way, and this way. And so I guess also the point that like a random element that will that whose purpose just exists entirely to screw you over. Honestly, I don't know what I'm saying here. I guess what I'm saying is that like randomness in games just like like or like a single like it's a ran like something that's random chance just to screw you over like for the express purpose of screwing you over is bad. If it's part of a game mechanic that you can take advantage of, then it's fine. If it's like randomness where sometimes it's good and sometimes bad, also fine, I guess, what I'm getting at. But like, if there's just a random event where something bad happens, I guess that's, I guess that ties in with, uh, I guess the whole, you know, the setting of The Walking Dead where something bad stuff happens and then just bad things continue to happen. We never heard anything about them. The torso. Jess and me, we were the only ones to get out. Where's the old man? He was up at the camp house, too. He didn't make it, bro. He did? The old man's dead? You let the abominations get him? Did he turn into one? Did you let that happen, too? No, I... We gave him mercy. What'd he say? What did he say? He said, uh... He said... Tell Merle I'm proud of him. Hmm. What do you really say? And you absolutely had to save this guy, really? Come on. All right, what's your deal? Well, first off, let's look what we got here. Transfer shotgun ammo, double barrel. Pistol ammo. Alright. Alright, what's your deal? Prefer shotguns and you're reckless. I'll give you a hammer. And I would ask you to find them. Fuel, maybe not. Find food. Hmm. Speaking of food, I'm going to need one or of these delicious MREs in my pants. Pockets. I said pockets. I mean, not uh, like I said, slap on the like a slap on the hand, uh, death penalty, but still. And I'm just gonna waltz up there, knock on the door, and ask to borrow a cup of milk. What do you want me to do? You're sick as a dog. And you need medicine. You didn't want to go to no hospital. Let's just go. He's not the only one. Oh, I got some of that uh, gray plague that's going around. I'm coming with you then. Yeah? You can barely walk. Then just stay put. Rest up. Anything happens, just call me. Fine. How did you fit in the back of that? And again, why are we supposed to care about him if he's a gigantic asshole? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. This is The Walking Dead. Everyone's a gigantic asshole.
I, okay, I'm still trying to like elaborate on that whole thing of like the whole like randomness. Like Yeah, they aren't shooting at me. Not yet. I guess I don't... I guess I should probably just not explain it. And then just say that this game is bad and does bad things. And not try to, like, explain it, like, try to justify it or anything by saying that, you know, it's... It's because of this particular game mechanic. Because I'm probably going to get something wrong. And I should stop comparing everything to roguelikes, for fuck's sake. That's not everything is a fucking roguelike. Is there a bullet in this? Yes, there is. Okay. And I guess this is a spare set of ten bullets. Alright, good. And the thing is, I now have two rifles, but I can't throw away one of them. in order to make more room in my inventory for, because reasons, I suppose. I guess it's, I guess it's like, kind of like, I, I, okay, I, I say, okay, we'll not compare it to that. We'll compare it to something else that... I'll compare it to something else that's more akin to, like, uh, like Oregon Trail, which had, like, the whole random, which had, like, the whole random elements. But that was more in the sense that you, you know, you actually prepared for things, like, like you were, it was, like, bad stuff that you were preparing for, like, you got more like wagon wheels to prepare for you know if you broke a wagon wheel or this one it's like you can't stock up on tires it just wants you to stop oh I have alerted the horde Thanks for waiting. Haha, uh -huh, you fools! One! Two! Three! Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Oh, and one little baby slap took me down, but 11 of them in a row! Yes! I see one way they're getting in. This is the true Zandatsu. But seriously, like, you can get surrounded by Horde and just face stab as many of those guys as possible and like and like the whole thing I like, got hit not because I got attacked by too many of them but because one of them didn't grab me like the face stab chain combo is the strongest thing you could possibly do when fighting zombies
Just as long as you... I mean, like, you can take out a horde of zombies in a fraction of the time, with a fraction of the risk, armed with only, like, the base knife. And, like, I'm pretty sure that that wasn't meant to be, like, a feature of the game. I'm not pretty sure, like... Like, I'm pretty sure that that's not, like, that's something that, you know, that they normally would have looked at and been like, okay, maybe we sh this isn't right. Okay, but yeah, as I was saying before I got interrupted there, like, kind of like Oregon Trail, where, like, you know bad stuff is going to happen down the road, so you prepared for it earlier on. But this is just, like, it, it's just done really poorly. And I, I mean, I... Come on back, anyway. Report in. Back. And like I said, I gotta stop comparing stuff to, like, roguelikes, because roguelike design is, like, way the hell different from, uh, actual, you know, regular gameplay design. And trying to be like, oh, you know, randomness is good in one, but not in another one. Mm, and it's not going to work out that good. Hang on, I want to steal your energy drinks. And your medicine. And all that. Are you gonna shoot you? You're the stranger, then. Was it worth it? All of all of this? We had a good thing going here. A little way station. Goons kept outside. I was able to protect these people. I should do it. Me? I didn't do this. Too bad about your camp, but I didn't cut no fence. Wait, it just suddenly got a Latino accent. He's real sick. We know you got meds. That's the only reason we came here. Meds? Yeah, I suppose. Guess that's all I got now. Is this enough to buy me a ticket out of here? Yeah, man, that's more than enough. Main gate is that way. It's still blocked, last I saw. You gotta cut through the sawmill to get out. It's gated, too. Here's the, uh, code key. I got more ammo stashed. I'm gonna grab it, and I'll meet you at the gate. Hopefully. Hmm, yeah, man, all those goons are something awful. Watch out for the splitter blades. They'll make lunch for you that time. Oh, the sawmill is still running. Oh, that's nice to hear. Oh yeah, let's see. That's what I mean. Something here. I got separated from my aunt. I'm trying to stay alive long enough to find her. You got any food you could spare? I found some gas. You can have it. Thank you. It's clean. Nothing's here. Oh. Well, normally I, I could just shoot you and take the gas and keep the food, but unfortunately this isn't that kind of game, so. It, Thanks. This, this isn't. I uh, Good luck out there. I have to keep searching for my aunt. This isn't like the Walking Telltale's The Walking Dead Part 1 where your choices matter. This is like Telltale's Walking Dead 2 Part 2 where your choices don't matter. Like, if you guys are gonna follow after me and... Come on, stupid. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. What the hell was that racket? So, 
Oh, good. Don't sweat. Come on, Joe. Get your ass down here. Let's go. Hell, the lost guy's already here. What is he? Four times older than you? Come and shut the hell up, Marl. There we go. All right. Oh, he came back to our Marius. Good. Good, good, good. But she's wounded severely. So it would take three RMREs to heal her, 